I want to thank the commenter Aotan for telling me about the French Empire Pass, where indeed, as you can see, all of the substates are released. Though I still want to show exactly why I think there will be done more within the code. Um, mostly because there's actually hints to it. So I'll go show that. So you can usually find this in the um, game files itself. And well, let me just... Let's see if I can find it through this pre-Prussia. Mm -hmm. So, okay. You have Prussia here. Um, this is all the info about Prussia, like what technologies they have, uh, where the capital is. And these hashtags are comments basically. So starting tech is a comment, but all of this isn't. So a hashtag indicates a comment. So okay, you have the DLC limits. This is actually a fun thing you can do with, um, with if you buy Hoi4, is that if you have the code to it, you can literally just delete everything that says you need to have this DLC to get this content because the code is literally just there. But anyways, has DLC, has DLC. But I'm gonna scroll all the way down. And here you can see a very interesting thing. The country leaders. Dennis Verdauer, Konrad Adendauer. Otto Wells, but which actually does have traits, exiled and union man, which is quite interesting because in the game itself, it's monarchist, but none of these ideologies reflect monarchism at all. So while it is from the Napoleon branch, I think there's actually more to it. Um, and here you have Ernst Thalmann. Portrait Germany Adolf Hitler. I think this is just like a substitute because they haven't actually made a portrait. This may be that they will die at that point. And these were the traits that I put in the description last time. Now, this isn't... I, I don't think the, any of these traits are actually defined in the code. I don't think there's like traits where you have assassination survivor or Stalin's puppet. I mean, the most interesting one I know is like freedom fighter for Kurdistan, which gives you a bunch of attack on core territory. But as you can see, you get both a Stalinist and a socialist um, guy and a conservative perhaps for um, democratic social democratic and communist so perhaps there's more to it but let's actually take a look at some other files as well what they left in the comments well this is the one for Württemberg and well, I guess it's kind of surprising that they didn't do much with it. As you can see, it's a different capital. Prussia is capital 64, Württemberg is 50, state idea. But they still have the country leader Ernst Thalmann, Otto Wels, and Dennis Fredauer. And, as you can see, the popularities are always set to communism. Well, in the game... In the game it's actually quite different when you release them via uh, the Napoleon Path. Here, I'll actually show it. Um, let's see. 
Let's take, for example, Prussia. You can see non-aligned 61, fascist 13, communist 13, and democratic 13. So those values are actually changed. Now, I suppose it isn't that strong an argument. I mean, if you release Ukraine, for example, then, you know what, let me just actually do that. Is it like release? Yeah. And you can see that this also has an overwhelming communist majority, which some fascist and some democratic. But I think it still is quite strange that they would have these country leaders like Dennis Feridauer, Otto Wells, and Ernst Stahlmann as possible um, leaders, or at least comments for leaders, and then have things like Stalin's puppet or assassination survivor as traits. Um, I wouldn't know exactly... Uh, if I will be able, if I will be able to code it in, probably not, by just deleting those things. But what I can probably do is also look at the idea group I had, yeah, because there were interesting things when it came to that, where you had like ideas. And what kind of stood out to me is that, well, let me just do China ideas first so you know how it's kind of formatted. So, okay, civil war disorders, communist uprisings, it's a modifier, modifier, army corruption. This is like already standard, like when you start it, you have army corruption. And then you have it when you do the focuses, where the debuffs get less and less, etc. Basically, as you... These are like your national... Um, your national spirits. But they're dynamic national spirits. These are not the ones you start out with. These are the ones that... Either you start off with and can change, or some other country can give you, I think, from what I can see in this code. Um, also with inflation, of course, you know that from the focus tree. But this is Mecklenburg, and you can see why is the political advisor here? Like, is the political advisor here at all? Let's see, force conscription. Let's actually search. Political power, 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 power. But nothing about an advisor. But then Mecklenburg has all these advisors. And I believe that in the game itself that they have no advisors at all. Like... Okay, but let's just see. Yeah, no, they only have the generic advisors, elusive gentleman, democratic reformer, communist, revolutionary, fascist, demagogue. And for military staff, I think they have nothing. Yeah, they have nothing. So, okay, let's see. Is that the same here? You have the communist, revolutionary, fat... But then you also have Prince of Terror. Now they already don't have a Prince of Terror. They don't have a popular figurehead. They don't have a Captain of Industry. They have no war industrialist. No army chiefs. None of that. The Navy chiefs. High command. Terrorists. So these are probably things. I think. That will be 
put in later, they basically just use the idea group, because it's mostly empty for most countries, as a placeholder to put in all this info. Because it doesn't get activated, because it's in the wrong position. Like, none of these are national spirits. So, my assumption is that, even despite the Napoleon focus tree, there will likely, or at least have some chance, that these things will later on be put in, and those countries will get expanded, and perhaps they will actually become releasable in some other branch of like the German focus tree, or perhaps even the Soviet focus tree, considering like one of the um, ones is like Stalin's puppet. Perhaps Prussia would even get like their own focus tree. I mean, it would be strange to, you know, have Prussia in, have all this extra info and then not do anything with it. Like, I would assume Prussia will get expanded. And s maybe it will relate somehow to the Soviet tree. But as of now, they aren't cosmetic tags. They are tags and you can release them. Unlike something like Release Greater Germany, which is a cosmetic. You can't do that. Prussia isn't a cosmetic for Germany. I think that with their high communism, there will be something used for it. I don't know exactly what, but if there is going to be like a German communist focus tree related to it, that would actually be really cool. But maybe they don't. And knowing that it's already in Napoleon and all those values will get changed... Maybe it actually doesn't happen, which would be quite a shame. But yeah, this is why I think perhaps that Prussia and all the other sub-states will eventually get something, will eventually be used. Because I think the same goes for Italy. Like Italy right now... Um, you can actually release, like, Tuscany, you can release the Papal States, you can release um, the Two Sicilies. And so, you get all the, like, pre-World War I stuff for both Italy and Germany, and I think they will actually use that. I don't know exactly how. Hell, maybe they'll make an entire new game mode <laughs> for it. Yeah, that's pretty much everything, and, well, that's basically a short explanation as to why.